Hey regulars, it's time to use our lavender infused tallow and I've decided to make a tiny batch of soap just to see if the scent holds up. Pause to read the recipe, tiny, tiny batch. Now while I'm measuring the oils, let's talk about the scent. It's, it's earthy. It doesn't smell like lavender essential oil. It smells like the entire plant, green and all. And I kind of like that. I also kind of dropped my phone in the bowl of tallow, but don't worry about that, Grace. Now we need to make a lye solution. I have distilled water, which is a little bit better than tap water. I have caustic soda or lye, which is why I'm wearing gloves. Just a little bit of sugar to help with the bubbles because tallow, mm, it's not famous for being a bubbly soap. It's more of a creamy soap and I need just a hint, a sousant of bubbles. Also, I should note, I'm practicing safety. I'm mixing this under an open window because I like my lungs and you see all that steam coming up. No, thank you. I'm not breathing that. See, due to the exothermic reaction between the lye and the water, this stuff gets hot. So we don't want it to splash or steam on our hands and we don't want to breathe it. Now I've melted my oils and I've waited for them to cool down. They were quite warm. And I want them within about 10 to 15 degrees of my lye solution, which is now cooled down itself. So now we have everything we need to make soap. When you add a lye solution to an oil base in just the right proportion, you trigger a chemical process within which all of the lye solution and most of your oils chemically convert into soap. There's no lye remaining in your final bar of soap. That's why it's safe. Bonus points if you know what the name of that process is. Now I have to say I overmixed my soap batter. I should have stopped about 20 seconds earlier so she's super thick, but that's okay, she's still beautiful. We'll check on her tomorrow.